guys, it's Sheila, also known as Onyx Beauty 1988 here on YouTube, and today I'm here to share with you guys a tutorial slash review on the Miel Organics white peony leave-in conditioner and the honey and ginger styling gel i'm going to be showing you guys how i did my wash and go and what my thoughts are on these products did i get flakes is my hair dry is it soft we're gonna i'm gonna give you all of the details and show you my technique how i apply it everything so if you like it you can get the same results at home um so the first thing that i do is wash and condition my hair and deep condition and when i'm sitting around the house deep conditioning and when i'm sitting up under the dryer drying my wash and go as you see got my hooded dryer behind me I like to play games on my phone. It just helps pass the time. And my favorite game as of lately is Gambino Slots, and they are actually the sponsor of this video. So the thing I really like about this app is that it is available on the iTunes Store, on the Google Play Store, and on Facebook, and it's absolutely free to download. And I love it because no matter what device I happen to be lounging around the house on at that time, I can play this game. And I don't get bored because they have 80 plus slot games on here. And you can choose from tons of different games. My two top favorites are the Arabian Tales and the Spin of Fortune. It's super fun. And when you join, you get 120 free spins and 20,000 free coins. Um, also, every day, you get a free spin on the G-Wheels. Um, they have contests every hour. Um, there's daily giveaways. There's VIP benefits. Like, it's a super fun game, you guys. So, I would highly recommend checking it out. Click the link down below in the description box and go download Gambino Slots so that you can have fun with me today. Fun. All right, so let's jump right into this wash and go. Let's get started. All right, so I did color my hair. I put a semi-permanent hair dye in, in like a jet black color. So if you see my hands with any blackness on them or any black droplets on my chest, that is why. So I'm going to be using the um, Yell Organics styling products today. I'm going to be using their white peony leave-in conditioner and their honey and ginger styling gel. Um, I have used this product before. I have never used the leave-in before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, I'm going to start on this side of my hair. I section my hair off into um, five sections. Um, two in the back two in the front and one in the middle because this section right here just has a mind of its own um so my hair is already like nice and detangled it's super soft and i'm gonna apply my leave-in i do notice this has like a little toggle switch here and i did see in some of people's reviews that um they were saying that they had issues with the pump, but the pump for me is working fine. It is very watery, as you can see. So it claims to be a lightweight conditioner. Um, so it definitely, definitely is very um, lightweight in terms of the texture of it. I'm gonna spray it just directly on my hair. I feel like that's gonna be less messy. So I've used the styling gel before by itself and um, I used to always use gels in my hair without any type of leave-in and I have found that a lot of times I do not get the best results and on top of that like even if I do get good results my hair is dry and you know it doesn't feel very good. Um, and I have used this gel before it is a lighter hold gel. Um, so you will get a much softer, fluffier look with this gel. But the thing is, um, because I used it by itself, and I have tried it with a couple other leave-in conditioners, I feel like I always got flakes. Um, so I was like, you know what, let me use it with a Miel Organics conditioner, and then hopefully um, I shouldn't have that problem this time, you know? So... I'm gonna just split this section into two to make it a little bit smaller 
and this gel I like it it's not um, it has a very again light consistency so you know if you're used to like an eco styler type of gel this ain't it honey um, as far as the smell of the peony leave-in conditioner it is a strong smell and the um, honey and ginger styling gel is a strong smell as well I really like the smell of it though um, if you're someone who does not like strong scents you may not like these products because of that and I am just going to take sections and just kind of twirl them I like to do this especially with like lighter gels because I don't know I feel like I just get really good you know results so when it comes to Miel Organics, it's kind of one of those things where I'm kind of like, okay, is this a brand that's really good for my type of hair? Like, I feel like I more so have like 4B, 4C hair. So here's the thing that I already know um, from using this gel in the past. I mean, and even with the leave-in conditioner, I don't think it's going to change what I'm about to say very much this these my L organic products they're very light like this particular um these two particular products they're very lightweight products and with lightweight products like i don't get very many days out of my wash and go so that is something where it's like okay if you're looking for something where you're going to be able to get a week of wear out of it i don't know all right, so my hair is about 95% dry. There's a couple of spots in the roots at the back that are not fully dry, but everything else is pretty much dry. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Diva Fuser and I am going to stretch out my hair. And I'm gonna do it on um, high airflow, um, warm heat, like middle heat setting. Alright, so these are the finished results. The only two things on my hair um, is the two products that I use, the white peony leave-in conditioner and the honey and ginger styling gel. Um, I don't have any oil or anything extra on my hair. Overall, my thoughts on these two products. Um, so the leave-in conditioner, it says it's for all types of hair. It is a very lightweight conditioner. Um, that is what it says on the bottle. It doesn't claim to be a heavyweight conditioner, but I do feel like my hair is really, really soft um, as far as how much product I used uh, it's a brand new bottle the first time I used that and used this and I used up to here so I mean it is quite a bit I am kind of heavy-handed with products um, and having um, you know coarser natural hair I feel like my hair kind of soaks up leave-in conditioners so I wanted to make sure that I coated my hair well enough um, but my hair is super super soft it is so much softer than just using the styling gel by itself now in terms of the styling gel I do really like this product and I feel like if you're someone who you wash your hair or you co-wash your hair throughout the week or if you're someone who kind of restyles your hair every two to three days I feel like this is a really good product um, also if you're someone who wants like fluffier hair and you don't like the the crunch that like heavier gels like eco styler or wet line have then again this is a really good product because as far as like you know if eco styler is like the eco styler olive oil it's like a 10 hold i would say this is probably like like a six like a six or seven hold um, so it's not something that's going to leave your hair crunchy. My hair feels like really nice and moisturized. This does have um, glycerin in it. 
so it is a humectant so it will kind of draw moisture from the air and your hair will kind of get puffier um that is something that i did experience i don't know if it will be quite as bad this time because i did use a leave-in under it um but that is something i noticed before my hair did um kind of tend to get puffier over the the days but my hair felt really soft and it even feels even softer using the combination of the leave-in and the gel so overall i really really like the the results i like the way my hair looks uh, I like the way my hair feels. So overall, I really, really like the results. I will definitely be purchasing these products again. I did purchase both of these products for my own money. And this is probably like the third time that I've bought this gel. Um, and I can say this is like the best results that I have gotten out of it all because of the leave-in conditioner. So highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think below um, down in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you are subscribed. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye.